Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. I'm going to do your mid-month October reading. Hope you had a great week. So, so far, let's see what's going on with you guys. What's going on for my lovely Sagittarius? so big so let's see so your overall energy what needs to be worked on is the six of swords so there might be a issue that is uh, blocking you guys from moving on from a situation or particular person something that is not giving you any mental rest in your head and you need to try to work on transiting those um, emotions or those thoughts and make them move, go away so let's see what's the issue so let's see a lot of reversed i see a lot of reversed this is good so what i'm seeing here is the situation right now um is the ace of pentacles in the reverse so this shows that a particular uh situation is being blocked where uh, you're not getting something off the ground. You're not getting a particular uh, relationship off the ground. You're not getting a particular uh, new um, business venture off the ground just yet. There are some delays or blockages um, with getting something off the ground and be um, something that's very solid, practical, in, in, in a practical round for you guys. And you, there might be just delays in receiving uh, abundance or or just the, the start of a new uh, project or uh, relationship. So what's blocking you is the high priestess in reverse. So this means that you guys are um, not in tune with yourself. You're not taking the rest to, um, to think about... Um, it, it, it just means that your intuition is not on point. You're not using your intuition. You're not taking quiet time to connect with yourself, with your higher self, with um, on a particular situation. Maybe you are um, doing something where you really need to use your intuition in order to understand why uh, the Ace of Pentacles is not going up right for you and you're just not able to use your intuition on it. This could also be that you are dealing with someone who is uh, not opening up to you, not showing their uh, emotions or not uh, showing their cards towards you. And that's what's blocking you right now. So in your recent past, there is uh, the beginning, the fool in the reverse. So you might be feeling as if you've been played for a fool or you might be, um, there, there might have been a situation where you just did not trust uh, to, to take a leap of faith towards it. You uh, might be feeling as if, like, you didn't want to initiate a new beginning with someone or a new adventure, or you just not, did not have the, um, the you did just not trust to start off a new uh, venture or uh, a particular uh, relationship. So what needs to be worked on is the Empress in the reverse. So with the Empress in the reverse, it feels as if you don't take the time off for yourself to nurture yourself, to nurture the people around you, to uh, make something grow. The Empress in the reverse is, is is like a warning to it, it's a warning to to be more loving towards first yourself and then towards others. So maybe you are right now in a situation or in a state of mind where 
you just want to be very selfish right now and not be thinking about other people, not be trying to nurture uh, other people because first you are thinking of yourself. So that could be the case right now. And what's crowning your energy is the page of cups in the reverse. So as I was saying, you are, um, you're not taking any risks. You are very focused on yourself, maybe focused on, on career, maybe focused on starting a new um, uh, business venture for yourself, or you're just not feeling um, as if you are ready to accept a new love offer. This could be dealing with a um, water sign that is not on your mind, but it, to me, it feels like as if you're not ready to uh, open up emotionally or you are um, the, the page of cups in the reverse could also mean that um, you've tried to um, maybe apologize to someone or someone tried to apologize to you and it just did not uh, it was not granted for you so what's coming your way is the eight of pentacles so Either you are going to work real hard to get something that you've invested a lot in, something that has been delayed for you off the ground. You're going to focus on your skills. You're going to focus on um, on working on a particular job or a particular situation or a relationship. And you're going to put a lot of effort in it to gain a lot of skills that, that's coming to your future. So that's really, really good. And I think it has to do with this Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, where you're just not, uh, you're ready to start something new. Uh, there is an opportunity, but there is just a delay. And this could be due to you not being um, confident enough to take a leap of faith. Uh, where, that's why where it's coming from. But what is, um, how you see yourself right now is the chariot. So with the chariot here, it, it, it just tells you that you know which direction you want to go, you know the path you want to take, and you are ready to explore it, and you are ready to leave everything behind and go towards, uh, towards your goals with a lot of determination, with a lot of willpower, with, um, with just a fast speed, you're, you're going towards your goal, which is very, very good. And your goal is to get this Ace of Pentacles off the ground, to to get this uh, abundance that you've been working on or where you did not have the courage to take a leap of faith in the, in the past. Now you are, you're seeing your goal and you're going towards your goal. Ready to explore this new path, that, this new journey that you were on, that you did not trust to go onto in your past so how uh your partner or the people around you are viewing you is the seven of cups in reverse so they are viewing you as someone who comes out of um of a, of a fantasy land of not knowing which direction to go see now you know which direction you want to go and the people around you they see you as a, someone who has narrowed down their options you're not confused anymore. You know what you want and and you're going towards it. You know it. So that's a good thing. They, they know that you've made a choice to move forward successfully. So what you're hoping for, this is a perfect card to get in your hopes, is the Eight of Swords in the reverse. So you're hoping for to just um, not be confused anymore, not mentally be stuck anymore in a situation. For someone not to be um, have the power and control over your mind and your um, just don't have any control over your mind and you're hoping to stay out of these uh, of this confusion. So that's a really really nice card. Uh, but what you're fearing though is that there is going to be a breakup in a uh, love relationship. There is. The lowest card is a very deep connection where um, where you need to make a choice between um, either you go forward with this person or there's a choice between uh, two people around and you <clears throat> and you fear in this situation that um, 
that the decision that you've made is going to be to break up a particular um, relationship and that that there's just not going to be a reunion because the lovers card upright it shows a union of two people that really have a deep connection with each other but you fear that it's going to uh, come to an end with uh, the lovers card in the reverse so your final outcome is the Knight of Pentacles. So this just tells me that either there is a uh, earth sign coming your way, which is a um, Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo, or this is you guys really trying to uh, take things very easy, think um, before you like, like, the Knight of Cups is, is someone who, who is meditating and just planning, strategizing. He is the slowest moving energy, but yet he has a goal to attain. And with the path here, you know which, what, it, what your goal is. And you don't mind if it's going to take long because, because this is the most reliable uh, pay, uh, Knight of, uh, of the deck. He, he is very slow, but he is he is very determined and he this night always gets to their uh, destination so and you do have the eight of pentacles here where you put a lot of effort and work in a particular situation in order to to get this off the ground the ace of pentacles in the reverse so if there might have been blockages on your way um you are now strategizing and planning and making sure that you are going to reach your destination so that is very good that is very good i'm going to whoop, clarify the let's see about the empress in the reverse that was a tricky one in in this reading and this is in your subconscious so you might not feel very loving right now or not ready to uh nurture okay so with the empress i have the king of cups in the reverse i have the six of cups and I have the page of pentacles in the reverse. So this is telling me that uh, you were dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces or a Scorpio. And this is someone from your past, someone that you've had uh, a real deep connection with, a soulmate connection with. But this person is out of your life um, and you don't feel to uh, bring this to a next level, to a next stage um, in a relationship. And um, although you do feel that there are a lot of good memories or that this person might have been your soulmate, um, that, that there might be even be a return of them. Um, but with the Page of Pentacles, you're not waiting for it. You are not waiting uh, to hear um, a message because the page is a messenger of something that is very solid a new beginning um, this the page is also someone that is um, focusing uh, and, and putting a lot of uh, attention uh, in order to study a particular situation or um, uh, a person and I feel that you have lost uh, you've lost your long-term goals and you're not looking looking forward to this this person to come back this could be even a um emotionally manipulating uh person from your past that was maybe manipulating you with the past i do have the two of cups at the end of the uh, deck so this you could be really dealing with a uh, soulmate but you are not waiting for a uh, message or for things to move forward with this particular person. So let's see what the, um, with the past you have the fool in the reverse, right? Yeah. 
So you may have been, uh, you may have had attempt to um, uh, message a particular person or you may, um, no, I feel that this is someone who has been uh, messaging you, uh, particularly fire, uh, fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, and you were just not uh, ready to take a leap of faith with this person. Let's see, one more card for... Yeah, you made a final judgment on not taking any leap of faith with a particular person. Maybe you you were also the one who has initiated a new beginning or a new start. And this other person just did not have, have any faith in you. And there was a final judgment on uh, whether to start over or not. And after this final judgment, things have changed for you drastically in a way that... Uh, I believe that you were more focused on yourself, nurturing yourself, um, focusing on uh, your home, your uh, business, your money. And that's why you had the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse uh, as your issue. So I believe that you are now more focusing on, um, on, on the material world. So let's see what the Ace of Pentacles was about in the reverse. Yeah, see? There might have been a loss in uh, stability or you. there might have been a, um, uh, a particular um, Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo and you might or this person might have felt a loss within a relationship with you. Let me take a minute here. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, because I do now have the Queen and the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles in the middle of the reading is facing the Five of Cups. So I believe that there has been a loss in uh, in a financial situation, or you might be uh, you you might have lost a particular Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. It doesn't have to be that particular sign, but it it's someone who ha who was very stable, very grounded, and very focused on their money and their business. And you or this person um, are both mourning um, that a particular uh, commitment uh, or a star did not get off the ground and it has to do yeah see there you have the high priestess blocking this situation which is telling that uh, one or both parties did not were not in tune with their intuition there were secrets involved within the situation and with the ace of swords in the reverse it tells me that uh someone did not speak the truth there is a lack of truth and honesty and wisdom which is um which is causing you uh to not trust in love anymore or not trust in this particular um person anymore from your past yeah see it's like you were trying real hard to gain clarity over a situation with the sun in reverse um i feel that uh you were just not being feeling very happy of not gaining the truth that you were seeking for and um you kind of like let go of the situation you're you're giving up and you're not um putting in any effort or you're not waiting and I, I told you here as well you are not waiting you made up your mind and you're moving forward with the situation um what do i want to clarify let's clarify what you're going to work on in the future 
See the King of Wands. So there might be a fire sign coming your way, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Or I feel that this is you guys um, getting back your power and putting things in action. Uh, know what you want, know which direction you are going and putting all the effort in it to um to gain what you were um to get to your goals and really work hard to to get that and i feel as if you are leaving this situation and this particular person behind in the past because you just don't want to be confused anymore with, or be bothered with any confusion or mental uh blockages that someone is putting on you guys see you had the eight of um wands in the reverse which you need to work on so there is a lot of delay in uh, moving forward uh or in communication coming your way um and this could be due to someone that is again not speaking the truth cutting you out and not this is someone that could, that, that could be a liar, not, not, not be willing to cooperate, not be willing to, um, to tell you the truth. And it can be very emotionally detached, um, from a particular situation. So that was your reading, Sagittarius. Uh, I hope it resonated with you. Just drop a comment, uh, if this resonated with you. And I see you the next time. Bye.